Kia ora, my name is Robbie and I'm another white man behind a desk. This week we're talking about the Auckland housing market. Whoa there Robbie, I hear you say, I don't live in Auckland and I don't give a fuck about the Auckland housing market. Well, firstly, please don't swear on my show. And secondly, good point, about 3 million New Zealanders don't live in Auckland. And you know what they're tired of hearing about? It's Auckland. Uh, and even though this issue actually affects all New Zealanders, whenever I say the word Auckland in this video, I give you permission to do this. So I hope that helps. Uh, the Auckland housing market is a bubble, and an economic bubble sounds fun but is actually bad, like communism or shower sex. If you're buying a house in Auckland right now, you are relying on house prices rising, and that is really the driver of house prices going up at the moment. People are betting on house prices going up and that is the definition of a bubble. And while it's reassuring to know that our show isn't the cheapest thing on YouTube, it's not so reassuring to know that Auckland is totally fucked. As you'd expect, crazy left-wingers have been pushing the national government to do something. People have said, home ownership is now only for the privileged few, but of course David Seymour would say that, because the ACT Party are a bunch of communists. And then this other group was like, the government should widen New Zealand's tax base for capital gains, which surprised no one, because everyone knows the IMF is full of dirty hippies. Eventually, National realised they had to tax the profit people were making buying and selling homes if they were going to deal with the bubble. If they were serious about addressing that, reform of the capital gains tax was critical. And if we're serious about addressing that, reform of the RMA is critical. Reform of the capital, capital gains tax is critical. Reform of the RMA is critical. Capital gains. Reform of the RMA is critical. The RMA is critical. Instead of introducing the capital gains tax, uh, National decided to solve the housing crisis by attacking the Resource Management Act, which would have been a great plan if not for a slight problem. As Gareth Morgan noted in the National Business Review, the housing crisis has nothing to do with the Resource Management Act. But to be fair, building houses without giving a shit about the environment might increase the housing supply in the short term, in much the same way that if a flood is coming into your house, punching holes in the floor might help with the water problem. Uh, it won't stop the flood and you can't live here anymore, but there is technically less water inside the house. Uh, meanwhile, Labour discovered that instead of saying investors are driving up house prices, you could just say foreign investors are driving up house prices, and that way you only piss off people who can't vote. Unfortunately, we don't know how many of the people investing in our houses are foreigners, because National believes that what we don't know can't hurt us is a valid basis for economic policy. But Labour didn't feel they should be held back by pesky constraints like uh, lack of any evidence or the basic rules of mathematics, and began making up how many foreign investors there were by randomly writing numbers down like a child with a Sudoku. For those of you who don't know, uh, Phil Twyford looked at the names of some home buyers in Auckland and said, lots of these names are Chinese, and not that many Aucklanders have Chinese names, so lots of these people must be foreign. And Labour said they weren't being racist, they were just making crude assumptions about people based on their perceived ethnicity, which is actually the definition of racism. Uh, and as it turns out, racism's bad and it fucks up your maths. There are 126,000 Chinese New Zealanders living in Auckland, and only 3,500 of the house sales Twyford was looking at went to people with Chinese sounding names, which means every single person on that list with a Chinese sounding name could have been a New Zealand citizen. So even if you're a big fan of racism, which I have to say not a great call, you have to admit the maths is bad. And to all the crazy ra racists who clicked this video because it had white man in the title, let's be clear. Uh, the ethnicity of investors does not affect the housing market. Foreign investment is less helpful to New Zealand than local investment, but ethnicity is not relevant. I'm sure a lot of property investors are also born in Capricorn. That's not a reason to tell people from January to go back to the month they came from. So no. The problem isn't foreign investors, the problem is investors in general. The National Party recently said that anyone who buys and sells a house within two years will have to pay a capital gains tax, and they're prepared to look at banning foreign investment. So because it doesn't look like the government's going to introduce a comprehensive capital gains tax anytime soon, we're going to stop talking about politicians and start talking directly to the people in charge. Hey rich people. How's it going? Yachting, eh? And the Rolex. I see inequalities getting worse, or as your people say, I, I see inequalities getting better. Any, anyway, rich people, uh, we've heard you've been gambling with our houses, which which sounds just so much fun. Uh, but the problem is people live in those. 
Well, I mean, a lot of people don't, but the, a lot of people would really like to. And I know you're making $1,000 a day just by owning them, and the Reserve Bank encourages commercial banks to support property investment, and the lack of a capital gains tax means it's just clearly the best place to put your money. Uh, but what if, instead, you bet on a game of checkers? Or which one of your friends can jump the highest? Doesn't that, doesn't that sound fun? Okay, and also we were a bit worried about a potential recession, uh, so we made you this. It's a rich person dollar. You, you can't actually buy anything with it, but you can use it to bet on things, like jumping with checkers. And that way, when you lose, you won't fuck up the entire goddamn economy. Doesn't that sound fun? Okay. There you go, New Zealand. Problem solved.